So, the talk about doing a quill series. One of the other problems with the notion of doing it is is that there's just so much so much makeup. I mean, I can do effects. I can, you know, shit. I can take a video file and explode the explode it into single images, and then put it back together again. You know, after I've painted glowing little laser blasts in Photoshop on each individual frame, and then recompiled it into AVI, MPEG, whatever. Um, Whatever cat is back there, stop it. Before I feed you to the neighbors. I hear they like cat. Of course, I hear they like people, too. It's all about, you know, having the undead as your neighbors. Um... And contrary to popular belief, the undead will eat anything, even rocks. Not very bright. So, um, I mean, I can do low budget. I can stand to do low budget. I just don't want it to be the kind of low budget that absolutely sucks. I'm watching all these people do these, you know, Star Wars fan films and Star Trek fan films, and it's like, shit, man. I mean, they're cool, but you got all these things. Do something, you know, do something that's yours. I mean, I've watched a few of them, and I like them. I think they're cool. But it's just, you know, put put your energy into making something that's yours instead of riding off of something that somebody else created. I mean, build your own universe. Be your own God. No, I, I would I would love to be able to do stuff like that. To be able to to be able to put together stories of, of Quill and her crew running about the galaxy. All the things that they that they run into, the transport jobs they go on, they're just the the minutia. You know the, the, all the little, you know, all the little things, the, the little odds and ends that, that in the grand scheme don't always seem to matter, but make the universe real. Make it tangible. And of course, you know, big ship-to-ship -ship battles and storylines where, you know, characters have some cool mission to go on. Or, you know, that never hurts either. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I, I 
I'm all about seeing the, uh, you know, seeing characters going charging over a hill. Or seeing characters supposedly, uh, supposedly backed into a corner, and then there being some, some great save, some cool save. Um, of course, I'm also all about seeing characters backed into a corner and then all dying, too. So, <laughs> it's like, we're not going to get out of this alive. And you know what? You really aren't. No, I, I would love to do it, but I'd want to do it well. I mean, I could even stand, you know, I could stand full moon entertainment level of, you know, bad. Because I love the old full moon entertainment movies. The, the Trancers movies, the, the was it, sub, subspecies movies. Uh, never really got into, like, demonic toys and, and puppet master and stuff like that. Um, did kind of dig robot jocks, though. <laughs> I have to admit that one. I mean, it's just trying to figure out a way to do it. And I could always come up with something something new that doesn't have all the trappings that Soon's universe has, but I like that universe. I like those characters. And part of the reason I do is because I've had them for so long, because they've, they've stuck around for so long. I don't have that history. I don't have that, that, that attachment if I just, you know, whip something up for the sole sake of putting something online. I, I don't want it to be like that. You know, I want a character, you know, with a black heart. I want a Storms. I want a Hodge. I could e even deal with something that follows the sect. You know, Pandora sect, or like like Meryl from you know, Endless Winter, or Storms sect, like like Cray from Endless Winter, um, or the Allied families. It doesn't have to be somebody from the bloodline proper. Um, I don't know. I think really the only two things that are holding me back are the CGI for the space shots and, and effects and a place to build the damn sets and the funds to build the damn sets.